Hello students, in this video we'll find a recursion relationship for those genre polynomials. Let's recall the Rodriguez formula that Pn of x, the nth genre polynomial, is 1 over 2 to the power n, n factorial, n derivatives of x squared minus 1 to the power n. That's the nth genre polynomial, and this is the Rodriguez formula. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at n plus 1 times pn plus 1 of x. Okay, that's the expression I'm going to consider. By Rodriguez, this is equal to n plus 1 times 1 over 2 to the n plus 1, n plus 1 factorial, and then n plus 1 derivatives of this thing, which is the same as doing n derivatives of the, of the derivative of this expression with the n plus 1. So that'll give me a what? That'll give me an n plus 1, and then x squared minus 1 to the power n, and then times 2x, right? So in other words, what I've just done is I've just replaced the x squared minus 1 to the n plus 1 and the n derivative. I'll put one derivative on that and then differentiate it, and this is what we'll get, okay? And now I have 1, 2, and that will cancel that 1. That n plus 1 will cancel out with that n plus 1 factorial and just give me an n factorial, okay? So that will just turn to an n factorial. And what this will turn into is it's just going to be an n plus 1 over 2 to the n, and then n factorial, and then the nth derivative of what? Of just x times x squared minus 1 to the power n. Okay? And so now what I'd like to do is I'd like to use the Leibniz rule for differentiating a product, which states what? It states that if I do n derivatives of f times g, that'll be the sum k goes from 0 up to n of n choose k, k derivatives of f, and then n minus k derivatives of g. That's my generalized rule for doing n derivatives of the product. That's the Leibniz formula. So if we apply Leibniz to our problem, what are we going to get? If we apply Leibniz to our problem, I'm going to have an n plus 1, n plus 1 over 2 to the n, n factorial, and then what? Now let's think of what can happen. I'll have, I can have x times all of those derivatives. So that's one term in Leibniz. It's x and put all the derivatives on that second term. Or I can do n choose 1, put the derivatives on, one derivative on x and then n minus 1 derivatives on the other thing. So then that's going to be an n choose 1, which is just n. A derivative of x is just 1, and then I'll have n minus 1 derivatives of x squared minus 1 to the power n. Like that. Great. And so now, and so now what can we do? Now observe that I have fewer derivatives over here, so I need to somehow extract more powers over here to get a recursion relationship. So let's, but let's first look at these fir this first expression over here. This expression over here, over this. Well, what's that going to give me? I have a d to the n, x squared minus 1 to the n, over 2n, n factorial. That's just the nth genre polynomial, right? So it's going to be n plus 1, x, n plus 1, x, times pn of x, from that term over there, plus... And then I have an n over n factorial, that's n minus 1. So that's going to be an n plus 1 over 2 to the power n, n minus 1 factorial. And then n minus 1 derivatives of x squared minus 1 to the power n. Excellent. Now, I need to use a little bit of a trick. I need to symmetrize this about the p x p n. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and subtract in n x p n of x. And that won't change anything at all. But what that will allow me to do is that will allow me to put 2 n plus 1. This is going to be 2 n plus 1 x, pn of x, plus this term over here, so plus n plus 1, n plus 1, over 2 to the power n, n minus 1 factorial, and then what? And then a d, n minus 1, x squared minus 1 to the power n, and then minus what? Minus the nx, nx, over the nth general polynomial, which is going to be a 2 to the n, n factorial, and then dn of x squared minus 1, to the power n, okay? And now here's where I need a little differential commutivity relationship. I'm going to use the fact, and so here's a little lemma that we know from our, our commutation relationship with differential operators, that x dn is equal to dn x. You can commute dn and x at the expense of an n, n minus 1 differential, okay? So that's a relationship for differential operators, right? And so that's, I'm going to use this lemma next, right? And so if I use that lemma on this term over here, what are we going to get? Well, this term stays the same. This is going to be a 2n plus 1 x pn of x, and then plus n plus 1 over 2 to the power n, n minus 1 factorial, 
dn minus 1, x squared minus 1 to the power n, minus, uh, let's just do a 1 over 2 to the n, and minus 1 factorial by canceling out that n, and then x dn is going to give me what? x dn is going to give me dnx, dn x, x squared minus 1 to the power n. And then this term over here is going to give me minus what? Minus, minus n, dn minus 1, dn minus 1 of x squared minus 1 to the power of n, like that. And now the beautiful thing is I can group these terms over here now with these terms over here now, right? And so let's do that. And so we're going to have a 2n plus 1 x pn of x. And let's see, I have a positive n, same denominator, so that's going to give me a 2n plus 2n plus 1 over 2 to the power n, n minus 1 factorial, dn minus 1, x squared minus 1 to the power of n, minus 1 over 2 to the power n, n minus 1 factorial. And now I'm going to do one derivative, I'm going to do one derivative of this, it's going to be dn minus 1. And if I do a derivative of this thing, it's going to be what? It's going to be the derivative of the first function times the second function, so that's going to be an x squared minus 1 to the power n. And then plus a what? Then plus the second function, the first function times the derivative of the second function. That's going to be an n, and then a what? An n, x squared minus 1 to the power n minus 1 times a 2x, like that. Okay? Excellent. And so now what's going to happen over here? So this term over here, let's look at this term carefully. That term and this term have the same differential structure. So by have negative 1 of them over here and then 2n plus 1 over here, so I can cancel this term with that 1 over there. Great. And so now what does this become? This becomes 2n plus 1 x pn of x. And then um, I'm going to cancel out that 2 over there and that 2 over there. So this 2 over there will turn into an n minus 1. This 2 over here will now turn into an n minus 1. So now I have the exact same denominator, a 1 over, two, 1 over 2 n minus 1 n minus 1 factorial in both of them. So then I'm going to have a plus over here, 1 over 2 n minus 1 n minus 1 factorial. And then what's going to be left over? Then I'm going to have a d squared, I have an n minus 1 derivatives for both of them, right? n minus 1 derivatives. The first function has an x squared minus 1 to the n. The second function is a what? Is a minus, is a minus what? Is a minus, um, minus what? Minus a, um, good, and, and of course an n, right? So this has an n over here, and this has an n over here, so n and an n, that's going to be actually plot an n. And then minus what? And then minus x squared, minus x squared, x squared minus 1 to the power n. Good. And now the key feature is to observe that I can pull out a what? I can pull out, of course, that's an n minus 1, n minus 1 over there. If I pull out an x squared minus 1 to the n minus 1, I'm left with an x squared minus 1 in the first term, and then a minus what? And then a minus x squared in the second term. And so this just turns into what? x squared minus 1 minus x squared is just negative 1. So this whole expression over here is nothing more than just x squared minus 1 to the n minus 1 times negative 1. So we've just shown what? We've just shown that this is equal to 2x plus 1 x pn of x, and then plus, uh, and then I'll pull out negative 1 out, and then negative n over 2n minus 1 n minus 1 factorial n minus 1 derivatives of x squared minus 1 to the power n minus 1. And now we can use Rodriguez again, right? So Rodriguez again says that this expression over here is pn minus 1. That's pn minus 1 of x. Great. So what have we just shown? We've just proven that n plus 1, pn plus 1 of x, is equal to what? Is equal to 2n plus 1 x pn of x minus n pn minus 1 of x, and this is our recursion relationship for the Legendre polynomials using the Rodriguez formula. Thank you very much.